everybody. Welcome to the Firefly Studio 67. This is Gina. Um, today I've got a couple of uh, journals that I've created. This is a design team project for Artie Mays on Etsy and the flight is called Blue Butterfly. Beautiful um, journal kit and it's not easy, you know, for us, I think, to find blue sometimes, so I was really grateful that uh, Andrea had created this. So let me just show you. These are a TN <coughs> size journal, although I would say, because of the cover, how I've created this, this probably would not fit into a TN. It's more of a stand on its own journal. So both of the journals are very similar. The only difference being, um, this one's got a small dragonfly charm, and that's the butterfly. Now the butterfly I have named Take Flight, and the dragonfly I have named You Can Fly. So I'm going to set the dragonfly just over to the side, um, like I said, just because they are uh, very similar. So we're just going to do a flip through of the Take Flight which is this one. So the cover ends up being about four and three quarter by eight and a quarter. And you've got about a one inch spine here. And as you can see, I've created this using an envelope. So this has been altered. I've taken the images from um, the Blue Butterfly kit and I've also come across um, and did the beeswax technique across that. Um, I will put a link in the description below um, on what I'm talking about with that technique. So if you're curious about that, you can just click that tutorial. The closure is uh, Sorry Silk. Well, the front, I've got this um, fabric ruffle. Like I said, I've, I've done all of it with beeswax and then I came back and made a pocket. I just thought it'd be nice to have a pocket on the front and then they've, I've stamped this book belongs to. So going inside, this is the cover. Um, here I've stamped on some canvas material. I've done an eyelet and then the bulb pin, which has all been put onto a ruffle. And then I've created this tag up here. Um, these are butterflies that you get in the kit. And I have backed all of the tags in this journal with tea dyed paper. Beautiful papers. Here, let me raise the camera just slightly so you can get all of it in frame. A book page pocket here. And again, this is another of the tags from the kit. It's a Artie Mays kit, so it is large. You get... Um, tabs, banners, tickets. Um, here I've got a snippet tab that I've put in, more old book page, um, some paper ruffle here. This is an old postcard that I've had in my stash and then I've just taken some of the scrap papers and collaged it with um, to make this tag. It's a large tag there. Tracing paper that's been tea dyed. Here I've got another pocket and again this is another of the tags from the kit. And that's all been stitched around. I've done a lot of sewing in this in these journals. Um, another little piece from the kit more places to write here. Um, this is just a digital postcard that I've printed out and then on this side I've got an altered paper clip that I made and then this, when you take this off, this just opens up and that's old uh, music sheet. Another little uh, snippet tab, Again, this is one of the pages from the kit, it's gorgeous. You can purchase this kit in the TN size or the full size, 
and then you would want the add-on as well because that's where you get all of the extra bits for it. And her kits, like I said, are huge. I did not use everything that I printed out um, because it was just getting so full. Another little uh, fabric snippet. <clears throat> and then here is just another postcard from my stash. And these are... Um, very old postcards, I don't know, probably 30s or 40s. Um, this is one of the little Tim Holtz tiny paper clips, and then this page flips out, so you've got additional writing space here, <coughs> and I've stitched around all of that. Uh, one of the journal cards from the kit, and that's been backed with tea dyed paper. So I don't think you'll see any white in this one at all. Um, here at the center, I've got um, some of the little die-cut butterflies that I've added to the strings, and then I've altered a couple of little tags with some of the paper, and I love these images. These are the background papers that you get, beautiful colors. It's, it's a deep teal. Uh, here's another little pocket, another journal card from the kit, and this is one of the little <clears throat> envelopes that you get. I did not glue this together, so you could write in it or just glue it up as an envelope. Beautiful. And then a little um, Rolodex, mini Rolodex card. Another journal card here, and these are the tabs that you get. Another little snippet. And this is one of the flip-out um, pockets that she includes. <coughs> and inside here I've just done an embossed tag with a bit of fabric stitched up at the top there. And that just tucks behind there. So that will flip over and you can do journaling there as well. Another uh, Edith Holden book page and another tag from my stash. And then this is another um, pocket that flips over, so you could put something in there. Another little fabric tab. And this is another page from the kit. They are just beautiful. And then this, these are some of the um, <clears throat> bits of ephemera that you get. And another journal card there. This is the, another of the background paper. Um, she includes that along with the lined paper, so it's really nice. Just stitch some lace along there. And then on the back here, I these are the tickets that come in the kit. I love those. So that you can journal on those, and then I've just included a lot of little bits of um, ephemera little tickets and stamped images I've done and then um, just various things from my stash. <clears throat> and then <clears throat> this is the back cover. We've got a um, large coin envelope and these are made out of uh, craft paper so they're very durable. So you could add something there as well. And that is in both of the journals, just so you know. And then that's the back cover. And I love how the wax gives it a real vintage look. So yes, I've really enjoyed playing with this. Like I said, they're large kits. Um, I'll put the link in the description box below for, for the kits that um, are 
I've been I've used in this and then I will also link the beeswax tutorial in case you're interested in doing that as well so thank you guys for stopping by I hope everybody is uh, doing well and I'll be back very soon take care bye